Hello again, welcome to part three. Now then, we've made our cross. You'll notice in our example here, we've got one of the corner pieces in place as well. But as you can see, it doesn't match the center pieces of the two sides. So that corner piece is not actually in the right place. What we're gonna do is put the corners in the right places. And this is all done with one set of moves and it's the same set of moves that you did before. It's the down, left, up, right set of moves. Now the way that this works is that we'll still work on this top side here, but we want to move the pieces around the bottom to the bottom right hand corner, like that. So let's look at this piece here. We can see it's got three colours, it's got orange, it's got blue and it's got white. So it's one of the ones that we need. What we need to do is look for the side orange and blue. Now you can see there's the orange side, there's the blue side. So we know that that piece needs to be here. That's our orange side, that's our blue side and this is our orange and blue and white square. So what you do is you move it to the bottom right hand corner like that. Then you do the same four moves, down, left, up, right. Keep going, down, left, up, right. Keep going. And eventually it will end up in the right place. Um, so we'll carry on looking at the bottom row. Here's a white piece. This has got green and it's got orange on it. So there's our green side, there's our orange side. So we've got this again in the bottom right hand corner. And then we go down, left, up, right. And keep doing the same, oh, was that right? That was it, only took one, only took one twist. Um, let's have another look on the bottom row. Now you'll see now that there are no more white corner squares on the bottom row, but it doesn't matter. All we've got to do is take one of the ones that's in the wrong place up here, either of those is fine move it again to the same location so we've got the top uh, right hand well at the right hand of the bottom if that makes any sense um, and we do the down the left the up and the right which puts it on the bottom row we then rotate it around to the right place which is again this is pink and blue as you can see so there's pink and blue there and white so you've got three colors you've got blue you've got pink so now you can go down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, and just keep, basically keep going until it's in the right place. There it is. Now we've got the one last corner. So again, move it underneath where it needs to go. Down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right. And we'll just keep going. And keep going, and eventually, it ends up in the right place. Okay, so that's the end of that section. We've got our side done, but also if you look around the side of the cube, you'll see that the top layer is done because the entire top row matches the colour of the centre squares. Okay, that's all there is to that section. So that's part three. Join us in part four.